Hey, hey, Chris Huffman here, Blue Collar Warrior, tough for junk removal. Y'all hear about the redneck? I got pulled over by the sheriff. When he came to his door, he asked him if he had any ID. He looked up at him and said, Bell Wood. Anyway, just creating this channel mostly as a hobby, just something to do, and see if it can help anybody, see if it can bring any glory and honor to the Lord Jesus Christ, and help anybody else in their struggles and failures, and through my struggles and failures, maybe help somebody get a little head, get ahead a little quicker. But uh, right now it's about 7:30. In the evening, just now heading home, another twelve, fourteen hour day. And uh, kind of starting out this week a little nervous because I don't have a lot on the books. Been using Home Advisor, but it's getting more and more expensive, and I'm not really getting as much return as I want, so I put my accounts on hold. I talked to somebody today to get some sort of uh, a lot of that money recouped back. I can see where it will work, but it still has to be tweaked a little bit. And you know, Home Advisor says, you know, these customers are ready. They're looking. I mean, they're ready to make a decision, and they just have not been for me. And still, 80% of them are what I just call tire cook, tire kickers. They're not ready to move forward. They're not serious. They're still looking and, and just want estimates. And, you know, so out of the 168 leads that uh, I've gotten this last month, well, last two months, I guess, I've only really made contact with about 35 of them. And uh, like I said, most of them aren't getting back with me at all, but I probably sold 25 of them. So if I make contact with them, I'm pretty good at, at selling them, I guess because I'm so sweet and handsome and funny, I don't know, my winning personality. You know, but I think I got fair prices. I think I'm pleasing the Lord with how I'm pricing things. And and even today, you know, you ever go up to a load and you think, man, I don't even want to charge them the minimum. Because my minimum is $75 if it's just a word of mouth or something off Facebook or something, something like that. But if it's from a lead source like Home Advisor, I automatically got to tap, you know, $25 onto that. So with Home Advisor, depending on how expensive the lead is, it's generally $100 to $125 minimum. And this this lady just said her and her boys are going to pull some brush. You know, had all kinds of brush. They're going to pull it up on a tarp and bring it to the curb. I got there and I thought, man, I, ain't, I don't want to charge her my minimum, which would be like $125. So I started talking to her, and she said, I just wasn't as much as I thought it was going to be. And I said, well, I know. And I said, you're making me feel bad about even charging you the minimum on it. And she, she said, well, you caught me crying. So she's crying. I said, well, what's, what's going on? She said, my son is leaving on Monday for the Marine Corps. So she's all tore up about that and missing her son. And so my heart goes out to her. And I said, well, my minimum is $125. Do you okay with that? Are you okay with that? Well, yeah, I'm okay with that. And I said, okay, well, I want to help you out, and I know you're hurting for your son, so I'll do it for 100 bucks. So just making good customers, and she gave me a good review. But So I think overall, I'm, I mean, if, if people are really ready to move forward, they generally accept my prices, and I'm getting good reviews and praising the Lord. You're just not going to win them all. I got it one last week. I mean, I had to drive up into the boondocks, out of my way, it was a double stacker, washer and dryer, and again, a home advisor lead. And uh, I said, well, how, 
would be $125. Oh, no, no. And she was doing it for her sister. She was real super nice. She said, let me talk to my sister. She's the one doing it. I said, okay. And I explained to her the same thing about my minimums versus my minimums with Home Advisor. And she was an you know, older lady, but she was pretty fit. She was a little spitfire. And uh, I said, well, I'll do it for 75 So she told her sister that. Her sister, nope. I, sometimes I just don't get what people think. I mean, people, people aren't even willing to pay $75 sometimes. But anyway, so didn't get that one, but anyway. Uh, had a brain fart. So to recap of the day, like I started to say, I'm a little nervous about this week. I put my leads on pause. I talked to them today. I got them to... Uh, reverse I had to go all the way up to national but had them reverse half of those leads uh, money back into my account turn my leads back on and hopefully I'll make some money enough to get everything paid off again but my goal is to not pay for leads um, I watch Mario and you know other guys at some point in time I'll make a video about the guys I'm watching on YouTube but learning stuff but I'm knowing that I could be able to I should be able to do this without having to pay for leads. So still, whew, trying to be disciplined enough, working all day and then trying to get home and work on my SEO and work on my Facebook ads and Craigslist ads or whatever. So but right now, the only consistent thing I got coming is uh, Home Advisor. So anyway, started this day and this week, not really knowing. I didn't have anything going on with Home Advisor, but just decided to, you know, just be working, just be faithful in the little things. And, and uh, so I had a couple lawn jobs to do today, and uh, a couple preservation inspection jobs to do today. And on my way back from about 45 minutes from where I was back to the shop, I got a call from one of my friends and customers asked if I wanted to do a small job for her. So she sold me some pigs. One of her apartments was just left. and So a two-bedroom apartment. Ran out and did that. Took two hours. Last minute, she wanted it done. Knew if I could do it right away. Did it right away. A couple hundred bucks. You know, it took a couple hours, longer than I thought it would take. But anyway, I guess the point of that is when you got good people that either become your friends or are just a really good customer and who take care of you. Find a way to bite the bullet and be there for them when they need it. So the Lord gave me some work and uh, so a $300, $350 day which it's real easy when you start making some decent money. It's real easy to, you know, when you start having a thousand or a couple thousand dollar days a little bit more often, you you start getting <laughs> hooch mouth about a $350 day. But let's always be grateful because 350 bucks a day, it ain't nothing to snub your nose at. So always be grateful, and I'm thankful the Lord gave me work. He's got me the health. I got a good helper and my son-in-law. And as far as this channel goes, like and subscribe, I guess. You all know that. I don't know why I have to say it. But again, this is just a hobby. If it turns into something great, if not, you know, I'm just enjoying it. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, tougher junk removal, tougher environmental services, 865-888-2557 always keep your eyes on him.